fucking what? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight, tonight, we are coming back to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's right. Red Hot Chili Pepper fans feeling you. Here we go. This is a request from Adrian Coester or Coster. I'm not sure. K-O-E-S-T-E-R. Is it Coester or Coster? I don't know. I'm sure he'll let me know. Uh, this is the Red Hot Chili Peppers with a tune called Wet Sand. Now, I've never heard the song before to the best of my knowledge. So, this is going to be a, a fresh new experience for me. If I have heard the song, I will let you know. That's the truth. Okay, trust me. I will let you know. I promise. Uh, this was posted by Jonathan Felipe. And this video has 445,000 59 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Wet Sand, live at Fuji Rock Festival. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this! <laughs> It sounds like it's about to kick into something a little more energetic. Okay. Um, good start. Good start. Um, nothing wrong with, like, it's, when you're playing a full console like this, there's nothing wrong with having some songs in there that start softer and start slower. There's nothing wrong with that as long as it goes somewhere, as long as it develops and it grows and it moves Nothing wrong with starting slow like this. And I have a feeling we're about to kick into something because I heard Chad hit the, hit the pickup. But, uh, and it feels like we're about to kick into something. So, not a bad start. Let's let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes. We have seen a cheating me like to dream. Automatic left the Oh, nice, Phil. 
No, 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 no. We're going to pause. We're going to pause. I want to hear that fill again. That was slick. That was a slick fill right there from Chad. Uh, what else? Those might have been sex tuplets. Let me let me listen to that again. Let me see if I can catch it. I love the shame we did it for the better I love the shame we did it for the better Okay. Two things there on that fill. One, he did on the third measure of the phrase, not the fourth. That's one of the reasons why it kind of stood out. It was like an unusual placement for a fill. Not a bad placement, just an unusual placement. The fill itself... It sounds like sex tuplets. Yeah, sex tuplets. Okay, cool. So it was a sex tuplet fill on the third, at the end of the third measure. That's why, okay, okay. I One more time. I just, I got to hear it one more time. I'm sorry. Okay, now the song is starting to get some real life here. Okay, I was getting worried. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, I have some thoughts about what's being played on stage, but I'm, I'm going to hold them to the end for now. For now. Uh, let me back up a little bit here. <laughs>
Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was actually that was actually pretty good. That was pretty good. Well, there you go, folks. That was the Red Hot Chili Peppers with Wet Sand. This was live at Fuji Rock Festival. This was a request from Adrian Coester. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. All right. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this a 7.2. Yep. 7.2. I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Right out the gate, I'm just going to say this, okay? I'm just going to put this out there right out the gate to hopefully just put everybody into the same mindset I'm at. This was not my cup of tea, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it right now. This was not my style of music. This is not something that I would ever put on a playlist. Uh, this is definitely not my type of song, okay? Nothing against the Chili Peppers. This is just, it's not my kind of song. Now, having said that, let's talk about the good things here, okay? Um, Chad Smith's drumming. Wow, some great fills. Great fills. <clears throat> well-placed, well-timed fills. Um, it's one thing to be able to fill well. It's another thing to be able to fill, fill well in tempo. It's another thing to fill well in tempo in places that make sense. Um, he did all the above. He did some fills in some unusual places, but they weren't places that didn't make sense. It was just unusual places. But it's not like the fills took away from the song. As a matter of fact, they added to them. So kudos to Chad Smith on his drumming. Great job. Flea's bass playing. Really nice, tasteful, counter melody playing style. Uh, not getting too fancy, not not worrying about the popping and the slapping and, you know, the, the funk feel. More melodically driven bass playing from him. While still locking in with Chad. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. When you're playing melodically, it's real easy to get away from the feel of the song. It's real easy to get away from locking in with the drummer and sitting in the pocket and locking in with the kick and the snare. Not the snare, the kick and the hi-hat. Snare has nothing to do with bass playing. Uh, it's all about the kick and the, and the hi-hat. It's real easy when you're playing melodically to get away from those things, but he didn't. He stayed locked in while playing some sweet counter melody lines to the guitar player's melody lines. So, great job from Fleet. The guitar player, I don't know who that is. They've, they've gone through some guitar players, so I don't know which guitar player that is. Uh, great feels when it comes to the melodies. Great solo lines. Great melodically driven lines. Uh, great chords, too. Uh, overall, great playing from him. Um, very solid playing. What struck me about him were his the vocal ability. He was doing harmonies. He was doing those upper register harmonies, and they were clean. They were really clean. He was singing more in key than Anthony was. Shocking, I know. Uh, no, but the, the guitar player's vocals were very clean, right on pitch. And that last, for lack of a better word, scream he got at the end there, man, that felt good. That felt really good. So great job from him. Now, Anthony Kiedis' vocals. As I have always said about Anthony Kiedis, he is not my favorite lyricist. He is not my favorite vocalist. Uh, he's got a very nasally tone. He has a real hard time singing on pitch and staying in pitch and staying on key, uh, especially in a live setting. And you heard him go flat a lot in this live performance. Let's be honest here, okay? Not the best vocalist. I've always said his timbler, his word placement, his flow, his diction, his vowel formation, his support, his projection, all good. All good. He just has a real hard time staying on key, and he sounds very nasally. And that was very apparent in the song, what I'm talking about. I loved his energy, though, especially on the solo at the end when he just starts jumping around and turning in circles and stuff. Now, I know a lot of people are like, he looks silly. Yeah, you're right. He did look silly. You're absolutely right about that. He did look like a goof. But where were your eyes? What were they drawn to? That's the truth. There you go. 
if I rest my case. Uh, it worked. Your eyes went to Anthony. You couldn't take your eyes off Anthony because you kept seeing motion from Anthony. Was it goofy? Yes. Was it silly? Yes. Did it get your attention? You bet it did. So, great job on him being a good front man and keeping your attention. So, I'm taking everything into consideration here, and I'm, I'm like I said, the song is definitely not my style of music. I mean, it just, it, it's not. I'm sorry, it, it's not. It's not something I would ever put on a playlist. It's something I would, I would ever, even, even my driving to Vegas playlist, this wouldn't make it on it. So, not that it's a bad song. It, I want to make this very clear. It's not a bad song. As a matter of fact, it's getting a 7.2. It's actually a really good song. Not great, but it's really good. All right? 7.0, really good. Anything above 7.0 is just that much better. So this is getting a 7.2 for me. Not a bad, really good. So 7.2, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did, in fact, enjoy the show and you like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It will do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys did join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it will keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.